out just a moment ago and we found the perfect scene for you. I want you to join me as I show you how I go through three steps here in the field to capture reference material in order to get the information I need to go back into the studio and do a finished painting. To me, this is a fun part, and I hope you'll uh, get as excited about this as I do. We're out here in nature in this beautiful landscape with the trees and the sunshine, this beautiful day, and I want you to follow along with me as I go through these three steps. We're going to start first with a thumbnail sketch for composition, then we're going to go to a value study using one color, in this case cobalt blue, then we're going to pick some colors and do a color study itself. But one thing that I wanted to mention to you is that it's important to use your artistic license. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to maybe change the rock structure a little bit. I might change the water a little bit, make it larger, more dynamic, more exciting. The important thing to me is that I want to do a painting to convey to you how excited I was about seeing this scene. And sometimes I need to embellish, and that's what I'm going to do for you today. So come on along, watch me as I do a thumbnail sketch to get this started. And you'll notice that I'm working at about a 90 degree angle, and the reason I do that is because I don't want to be staring straight on to the subject, because if I focus too much that way, sometimes I want to put too much detail into the, into the scene. This way I just glance at the subject, turn away, and then use my own interpretation and keep it more creative that way. So let's get started. I've got a waterfall up there and I'm going to take the opportunity here to maybe move the waterfall out of the scene, out of the center of the painting. Move it maybe to the left a little bit. So watch what I do. Just a general sketch and make the sketch of the water just a little larger than it actually is in the particular scene itself. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to take part of this area of the ledge and I'm going to just draw a line for that and then above here just another area of ledge off to the side. So here I've got the water on one side, a ledge on the other side and then a ledge above in this case and this is sort of recess but just follow along and see what I do. At the base of this we want to put in an area of rock but I also want to take the advantage here of putting in some of these beautiful logs that I see out in front of me. And what I've got here is I've got some wonderful timbers that have fallen and they make an interesting part to this painting. So just follow along. I'm going to take a couple of timbers like so and just bring them out across in my sketch and just include those as well. This makes an interesting subject. It's all part of the ambiance of this particular area. So watch as I put in some of the rocks, some of the uh, area of the uh, of the timbers that have fallen and keep the sketch simple. What I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to do a little shading for you so you can also see what I've done here. Now keep in mind this part of the, uh, the three stages that I'm doing is really to capture the composition and design, something pleasing that, to, to look at and that's what I'm looking for in this case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade in just a little bit. So I'm, obviously the water's coming down in a vertical flow, so we want a little bit of the uh, action of the water coming down, which is important. And then next to that, we're going to have it extremely dark. In this area next to where the water is falling, I'm going to put in some real dark color or dark shading on this side right here. I think it's important for you, when you're doing these types of thumbnail sketches, to work with a good lead pencil. This one's a little bit softer, so I can get some extreme darks, and that's what I want to have in this painting as well as some of the nice light areas. So just continue on with the sketch like so. 